In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel 2010 to conduct a two-sample t-test when we have equal but unknown population standard deviations. And before we begin, the first thing we have to do is we have to make sure we have the analysis tool pack installed. I already have that, and you'll see it when I click on the data tab right here. Here's the data analysis uh, tool pack right there. But you may need to install that, so I'm going to show you real quickly how to install that. To do it, we just choose File. We're going to go down to Options. And when this comes up, we'll choose add-ins. And then we want to choose the analysis tool pack. It should be listed down here in this area. It's already listed up here, so it's already active in my um, version of Excel. So I know this is part of it, so I'm going to choose the analysis tool pack. And you don't want to click OK. Most of the time, we think we need to hit OK, but it kind of boots us out of here. What we want to do is we want to click Go, as in we want to go get that, uh, that feature. So it pops up a new window, and it lists all the different uh, add-ins available. And we're just going to choose the Analysis Tool Pack. There's other ones on here as well, and you can see I already have that checked because it's installed on my computer. You'll need to check that if it's not installed on yours. Then simply click OK to install it. And then that'll be found under the Data tab. Anyways, in our scenario here, I chose two individuals. And these are, we'll say, customer service reps. And this is the amount of time customers were on hold waiting for these particular customer service reps. And we want to do a hypothesis test to see if the, me the mean waiting time for each of these individuals is the same or if they're actually different from each other. So we're going to conduct that two-sample t-test. In order to do that, what we're going to choose is this data analysis feature right here. And it'll come up in a list of a variety of different um, options that we have. And we're going to scroll down until we find a... Uh, two sample test assuming equal variances, which is this one right here that I have highlighted in blue. You'll click OK. And then the first thing it asks us is the variable range for variable one. You're going to click this little tab right here. And you're going to select the area that the data is in. Now notice I chose the heading and I also chose that blank cell and that should be fine in there. And it'll recognize the heading and I'll show you what that does when we get the results. You hit enter afterwards. And then we have to hit uh, the variable range for our data set 2. We'll do the same thing, select that header and then all the information in there. Then go ahead and hit enter or you can click on this button right here and it'll bring you back to the input area. Now since we have equal variances for our null hypothesis, we're going to put a hypothesized difference of 0 because if these two are the same, the difference between those two would be 0. So we're going to choose a mean difference of 0. And then I want to put labels on my um, summary data that it gives me. And then I'm going to choose an alpha value of 0 0.10. So I'm going to change this. You may have a different alpha value that you're choosing. This is a level of significance that we input. And then I typically don't like to do a new worksheet. What I do is an output range. And it'll ask me what I want to do for that output range. So again, I click on this uh, output range right here. And I'll choose the cells that I want it to throw that information in. And I'll just say it's that area right there. That way all my data and everything is in one worksheet. It makes it a little bit easier for me to go back and look at information and, and compare stuff. So once you do that, you'll click OK. And you'll notice it spits everything out nice and neat for you. It tells you that it's a two-sample t-test assuming equal variances. It gives you your mean for each of the respective uh, people. It gives you the variance for each of the respective people, the number of observations. And then it gives you the pooled variance, the hypothesized mean difference, which we said was zero. That's what we inputted. And then the degrees of freedom for this particular thing is 17. And then this T stat right here, this is what I call T star when I talk about it in class. This is our calculated value for our T statistic based on our population mean and our sample mean. And then the critical value for a one tail and a two tail test. This happens to be a two tail test since we have equality right there. So this is the critical T value that we would use. And this is the T value that we would find in the back of our textbook when we're looking up T values. So again, just to review, this T stat is our calculated value. And then this T critical value is our um, T value from the back of the book in the appendix area. So with this, you'll be able to finish your hypothesis test and, and draw a conclusion based on this information.